for the computer. Yeah. Question, I'm yeah, I'm gonna read this so we don't have the feedback. Question for you, what in regards to that to the advertising, what have you learned? I mean, we've been doing this for well, how long? Almost a year, over a year? A little over a year now, man. We might be coming up a little longer. Okay. And when you first got into the space to where you are now, what's what have been some of the the, the more surprises or what have you been interested to learn uh, from starting our work together? Yeah, I think the, the biggest surprise is how well uh, dollar ads work. Um, you hear a lot that, I mean, I think the general consensus is that people think that you need to be spending at least like five bucks a day on Facebook ads, but it's honestly just not even the truth because <clears throat> you can spend a dollar, two dollars a day and honestly get the results, if not better, uh, than what you really wanted. So I'm seeing that this is a, a shift in the advertising space that people are taking advantage of, man. Um, these dollar ads are, are really converting well for people. And honestly, it's more cost efficient too for the business owner. Uh, if you don't have a lot of money to be spending on ads, I mean, a dollar, a dollar a day, it really doesn't hurt, especially if you're converting and getting the return back on your investment. So. I think that's the most surprising thing that I've seen. What is a dollar ad? <clears throat> Here, I need to... You want me to go ahead and share my, uh, my video for you? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, yeah, a, uh, a dollar oh, ad. I thought you were in the screen share. Yeah, you had to do the video. I thought you were in the screen share, but either oh. way, you can... <laughs> get along, yeah. brother. <laughs> so, you can't tie it up anymore. Let me uh, screen share for you real quick. All right. And then let me know if you're seeing it. We can see that. Cool. So we'll go ahead and just take a look at uh, the ad we literally just launched last night with uh, Bryce McGowan's. Um, here's the budget right here. So it's a dollar per day daily. Um, <clears throat> right now, we're just doing a retargeting ad. Uh, to get the people considering uh, Hoops University's services and letting them know who is actually we're training, which is a uh, number one player in the state. Um, so that's definitely something that should convert soon. But yeah, man, a dollar ad is is literally a Facebook ad, a Facebook ad that you run for just a dollar per day, and then you go ahead and collect the data that you need. Uh, that way, in the future, you're able to retarget these people that have visited your website or visit any pages that you've had. So one thing to, to mention too, I'm glad you started with the Bryce, Bryce ad. And my thought process behind that is there's a branding ad to where it just goes out there. Everybody knows the number one player in the state and it covers certain topics, which we can talk about scripts and all that stuff a little bit later. Uh, but this is more of a branding ad and we'll get to more of the prospecting ads a little bit, uh, a little bit later. But for you, I mean, what you and I have talked about this too, and something that trainers can use out there. If you're posting organically and posting without the, the money behind it, and you start to see that something actually gains some traction and it does really well without any dollars, then it's logical to me to think that if you actually put $5, $10 behind it, then you could exponentially increase the reach. How many people see it? How many people engage with it as well? So I guess that would be one tip off the, off the bat for trainers would be see what's working organically and then put some money behind those posts that that do well without the money yes sir yeah i agree man it's um it's all a matter of testing right so even organically if you're testing out different posts and you find out that hey videos are the 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 key content for my particular audience that's something that you need to test behind the uh the paid approach as well because it can directly correlate and really just uh translate to your to your online advertising platform so i would definitely try that out um see what works and then, like i said start from a dollar per day and if you find your winning ad uh then scale it up put up the money up there bring it to three to five bucks a day and then see if you can amplify those results like you just mentioned why would why would you suggest it would you suggest boosting versus going to the business.facebook.com and and using that route with the ads manager? What are the benefits, pros and cons of each? Yep, yep. So with uh, boosting post, you do get uh, targeting options that you uh, 
would normally get with your your business manager um you get the chance to look at certain demographics certain segments uh and it's it's easy it's very convenient uh press a button you got your audience select your audience you put your but your budget and then uh you let it run so that's the i think mainly when it comes to boosting it's a convenience thing now with business uh with with ads manager it's a little bit more complex when it comes to narrowing down your audience uh looking at audience insights to figure out what's the the right audience that you even need to be targeting in the first place and then uh not to get too lost as far as facebook lingo talk but you also have to look at your your interests and behaviors uh, of the audience itself so <clears throat> ads manager allows you to get so specific that you can target uh married mothers uh, with, with preteens, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the, the targeting power that you get when it comes to going on the ads manager side, you can get very specific, very detailed. Uh, and it's honestly nothing but opportunity in that, in that back, that back page, as far as, uh, Facebook has to offer. So can we talk about, okay, so the process is, I won't say let's go through go through everything, but when you get the business dot facebook dot com, where do you go next if you have an account? Can we walk through that process of of creating yep. an ad and just talk about what we're doing right now? So I'm gonna go ahead and type in business dot facebook dot com. Uh, then of course <clears throat> you look for your business page. Uh, right here, I manage uh, Hoops University at uh, Hoops Institute under my agency name, Garden Infinite Marketing. Um, once I get down there, I'll select the proper account. And then right here is, is the first thing that you're gonna see as far as your ads manager. So this is your ads manager page. Uh, once you do that, you'll go to create big green button and then once that loads up, you look for your campaign objective. So there's a, there's an objective for literally everything that you want to do. Uh, covers everything that you need. Uh, if you want to focus specifically on lead generation, uh, of course you have the lead generation uh, objective, but then you also have the messages campaign that me and my son have been running just recently, um, which is a pretty cool. Uh, campaign objective in my opinion because you get the chance to automate your responses um, which is a really cool part about that so why why is automating your responses super important so say if you have somebody that's considering your services um, leads when it comes to getting leads you want to be able to close them as soon as possible so what we do is we automate the responses we build AI uh, and Facebook allows you to to set that template up but you build the ai to automatically respond uh to your leads questions and then you give them any links that you need to give them uh give them to be able to schedule uh asap and you could be in the kitchen <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you want to be able to close those leads as quickly as possible so why not let the uh the the ai interface behind facebook allow you to to close them as soon as possible and then of course lastly you have conversions so conversions is, is a little bit more complex because you're having to set up uh your your facebook pixels and what a facebook pixel is is a tracking code uh, that you put on your website so anybody that visits uh your website is automatically recorded into uh data for facebook so down the line you're able to retarget uh your pixel aka the people that have visited certain pages of certain websites so let's just say we're going to do messages. And then, uh, just run random ads or random names. After you continue, this is what it's going to look like. Scroll down, you go to campaign budget optimization. And then this is where we start the uh, the dollar per day. And then it's, it, it's pretty straightforward from there. And then of course you go down to your ad set level. level. So 
this is the uh, just to break that down. This is the campaign level, ad set level, and then your ad level. And my said, I'll let you uh, chime in from there if you need to say something. Yeah, and and really, I, I like the messenger objective because honestly, what was that ad? I know the guys listening to this probably may or may not have been hit with the uh, the basketball to business uh, ad, the one where it had the Seventeen Secrets podcast. Do you remember what objective mm -hmm. that ad had? I think we got a dollar twenty three per lead in that one. I'm not sure if it's even in the in the the ads manager right here. Maybe some of way down there. Um, I want to say um, it shouldn't be too far, but I want to say it was. Uh, I want to say it was conversions. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I I, I think. For us, especially being a really, not just us, but basketball trainers, when I say us, I think being a really, really small business, for me, I'm, I'm more interested in the conversions, in the, the messages, the messages that we get for the dollars that we spend and the conversions and actually getting the lead. So with that being said, those two objectives are, have been my favorite so far to see. And whenever we can get, the, get it back up to share the screen, I definitely want to look at the messages objective to kind of show everybody the, the cost per message, the cost per conversation that we have, which I think is the real value to have a conversation with somebody you've never known that hasn't known you for as little as a dollar fifty two dollars and have a chance to convert them there. Um, and also before we even go there to that part, Jordan, I definitely want to talk about just some of the, uh, the copy <laughs> Yeah. And what's important there and the psychology behind what you've been testing, what we've been testing too. So, um, yeah, if we can go to the. You want to take a look at the, uh, the skill the evaluation? Message, uh, yeah, the skill evaluation. Let's do that. Cool. So uh, just recently we ran the, uh, the skill evaluation ad. $15 skill evaluation uh, for eight spots left. I ran that for about five days. So <clears throat> here's a more complicated look at what I just gave you. Uh, of course, you got your campaign, you got ad set, ad, ad set, ad, ad set, ad. So <clears throat> first off, let's go ahead and just take a look at the, uh, the copy that we had used uh, for these different ads. And something we're working on for the locker room, which we don't talk about the locker room as much is having scripts for quiet mice we really don't give away this. <laughs> we're here at powersville lunch powers boulevard we have nine spots left in our basketball training program we get a skilly by so those are two ads right there and i, I doubt anybody can hear that but those are the ad, are what the ads look like and we have i mean there's plenty of scripts there's parents are always telling us what's skill level their kid is at, where they need improvement, where they're weak, uh, updating us on their games. And what I wish I would have done earlier, sooner, especially with you, Jordan, is listen to what they're saying and then literally use the exact same <laughs> messaging, the exact same things they said yeah. back to them. Like during tryout time, like you and I have talked about it and you even had a personal experience with this. Parents cannot stand the politics that come with tryouts and it's, it's a real thing because there's future club kids there are kids who have parents who are really tied into the coaches who sometimes make the team even though it's not based on merit so mm -hmm. one of the ads that we the copy that you changed was be so good that you can't what how would you worry to be so good that the politics can't beat you or that you overcome the politics yep yep uh, so we talked about uh just surpassing the the high school politics that are involved in sports um and I think that was something that definitely could be. Uh, hey, wish I could mute it. <laughs> but um, there's, it's basically just hitting pain points, right? So it's a matter of when, you, when you're creating your, uh, your caption or your copy for these ads, uh, it needs to solve a problem. Um, for example, the problem in this case was uh, high school politics uh, or somebody that wants to make their team. But it has to address something. It has to, it has to give value to the actual parent. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a making it about them mentality, right? So when it comes to these ads, 
the ones that convert the best is when you're actually talking about someone else and not yourself. Uh, kind of works in life as well, but especially when it comes to these ads. So you want to make sure that you're giving out some kind of value that gets people to consider you in the first place. Because for example, we're on Facebook, either for entertainment or education, right? But we're not looking for ads. So how exactly from a marketing perspective, do we overcome that? Because no one's trying to see ads. People, I mean, you go on YouTube, I'm sure you see all the time, you skip ads all the time. I skip ads <laughs> all the time. So when you're on Facebook and you're, you're trying to target these parents, you want to give them the, the incentive to even stop and consider you in the first place. In this example, $15 is a pretty great special, 70% uh, off uh, for services that can definitely help change a, a student's life as far as when it comes to basketball and the game of basketball and just teaching them certain principles. So we're giving parents an opportunity to be able to experience that, but that starts first with <laughs> showing the message itself right blasting the message out there and figuring out uh who exactly is your audience and targeting them specifically and comment on that uh oh jordan uh coach mosley had a he said turn preview on a preview off that should turn the sound off so i didn't i didn't know that top right corner it's all right yeah on the ad if, if you wanted to oh, show beautiful. it yeah, I, I did not know that either. Thanks, thanks, Coach. Um, they can hear it too, right? So, it, and man, I know there are a lot of ads we ran that have done that have done pretty well. One that comes to mind is: Do you remember the Big Body ad where it was literally that that little girl, and they were we were doing a drill where the basketball was on the shoulder. She, you know, made a a really good move, a power stop, and she finished it. And that one did yep. really well with with the engagement. And my, I think the theory there is it looked like you're saying. One, it was a, somebody who was in the area, who was local, who is really adamant about sharing the posts, even when they are posted organically. And it also looked native. It looked like it was a regular post on Facebook that exactly. anybody would just post at any time. So it didn't look like an advertisement, which was really helpful. Let me see if I can, because um, a good example of that is the, uh, the Bryce Travel ad. <clears throat> ah. Where we were on uh we went on instagram and we literally <laughs> our, our main focus for this ad in particular was to just get a uh, was to just get consideration and get the brand out and letting people know in south carolina who hoops university is uh this one actually went <laughs> this one went viral <laughs> um we ran this for we ran this for a pretty long time we spent about 80 bucks so that's like that's about two and a half months, basically, because we only did a dollar per day. Um, let me take a look. I remember this one getting hundreds of comments and yeah, doing man. doing really well. It did. It did great, man. It did great. So this was the. Uh, let's see if it can. Yeah, so folks, I don't know if the preview preview on turns off the video too. I'd imagine, <laughs> so you can't really get the video without the sound. Yeah, but I don't think this one has much audio. Let me see if it, I can though. open it in. Uh... Okay, and I'll jam on that for a little bit because we all know how the did he travel posts do super well on Instagram, and it's it's interesting. We can do that. Look at anybody's feed on Instagram to see what does well, and you can mm -hmm. pretty much curate whatever they posted and do it for yourself. I like to tag them if it's really close to what they've done and it's really original. But, you know, for Diffy Travel posts, those posts do well without any kind of money behind them. So why wouldn't they do well as an advertisement, asking a question, asking people to, to give feedback? Right. So, and I'm not sure if we can show, but there we go. There we go. I'm curious to know if the trainers in the group think you travel too. Let's watch it. If you can watch it one more time. Yeah, it was, um, I wish it still showed the metrics, but since we shut it down, uh, it's still not going to show all of our metrics. It's still showing the Facebook metrics, but um, man, it got, where were we at? I want to say we were at like 10,000 views at one point, just for that, that engagement as far as uh, getting the comments and getting the views. Um, it was crazy. 
it was crazy. It was just a dollar per day. And right. I think right. the, the beautiful thing is, is spending a buck per day, it gives you the chance to not only participate in Facebook, because Facebook is now officially in, uh, it's officially a, a pay to play game. Um, organic, I, I think a lot of trainers see nowadays that their, their reach is either going down or their engagement is going down. Um, and the reason for that is because Facebook is showing you her, your post to about 10% of your audience. Um, the reason why they're doing that is because they're fishing out people to be able to get them to see who's going to pay for advertising and who isn't. Uh, the people that do pay for advertising are the ones that stay on a little bit longer and the people that don't either leave the platform or they find another way to kind of curve it, whether that's going to a different platform like Instagram and going organically or uh, whatever else that kind of requires you to curb that, that decrease in organic reach. So, our way is we're, we're also trying to pay to play, but we're also working on the organic side as well, uh, which really helps out from the retargeting aspect. It, can, you, can we go to the, um, to the most recent campaigns with the messenger and yes, can I show the results for those and, and kind of start closing it up? I, and I guess I want to reiterate what you're saying too with the organic and I think it was uh, breakthrough advertising where they're basically saying, advertising is is simply a public expression of a private desire and it's, mm. it's paraphrasing but basically listening to what people are asking for what they're saying and what's working and then amplifying it because others share the same same desires mm -hmm. same thoughts and this is one i think where you kind of piece together like a lot of so what you did you, you basically you know, you have the background of the person we're talking to, you have the desires that they want, obviously to make the team and increase their skill level, increase their confidence, uh, the wall that they're facing and the plan that they, they have. So there's all these scripts and formulas that we can use that help me out that you put together, you put down and then you scramble them all together and really just put them into one long ad and we just tested it, tested and tested. I mean, if you have what, how many tests right here? Two? Three? Yep, so these are uh, three different tests. Uh, you got asset one through three, um, <clears throat> tested out different audiences, uh, different copies as well, um, and as well as different creatives. So that's a, a, a thing to note as well. Don't be scared to, uh, to try out different things. If a flyer is better than your video, then blast a flyer out. Um, and if vice versa, if the flyer, if the video is better than flyer, then blast a video. But you have to constantly test when it comes to these ads. I think an important uh, analogy that I saw a Facebook advertiser say, if I give you a basketball and I tell you to shoot as many times as you can, and you get a thousand dollars for each shot you make, you're going to be shooting <laughs> as humanly possible until your arms fall off, right? So literally it's the same with Facebook ads. You can't just shoot out one ad and then expect it to work. You have to split test three, four, five different ads until you find that winning ad that actually helps you out and gets you that thousand dollars, like back in that analogy. So it's the same with this. Um, and we tried out, we tried out a lot of ads and it, it did well. Um, we spent 17 bucks on the, uh, on this campaign in particular, we created scarcity, uh, telling people and stressing that there was only eight spots left. Um, and then we ended up getting seven leads off of uh, 17 bucks uh, from that. And to your point, I mean, the $17 for seven people is, is great. And you can't show the, uh, I mean, there's, there's one person, but the, the idea is we were allowed to, with the, the automation, like you said earlier, I've tried to respond to it as quickly as possible, but I can't beat the, the computer. Like literally, they, they say link, or what do you have it set up as? If they say what word, there's this automated message that comes out because all these trainers know that parents ask the same question so if we can mm -hmm. know those questions know those patterns we can save a lot of time and really respond a lot quicker than we would be able to manually but what are those yep. keywords that you have set up <clears throat> let me take a look at the um the actual template see if it just shows us okay cool so as soon as you hit the uh send message button it's going to blast this message out to you so automatically, it's trying to answer as many questions as you possibly can within the first message 
uh, that way we're not constantly worrying about whether or not, you know, what are the prices, where's the location, uh, how many spots you have left. We're trying to knock that out as much as possible. Um, and then of course, <clears throat> if that's all the information that they need, they can simply hit that button, say awesome, send me the link to sign up. And then down here behind the, the, the back, the back side of it is where I actually set up the automated response. Uh, so this is the response that they would get once they hit that button. Uh, here's a link, you get the link, scroll down and I give them, I break it down as far as how to redeem the coupon. That way they're able to have something clear cut, no confusion, and they have no problem as far as uh, scheduling their group chaining. And of course, if they have more questions, because you know most people do, you go ahead and give them that option as well. I have more questions, and then I just say, no worries, ask away. And then that's when we come in and uh, start answering any questions as soon as possible. I like that. I like that. And then it, 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 you said, like you said, it gives chance, it gives time to go in there and answer whatever question that they have. What is, Ben asked a really good question. Uh, as far as the results between the, sorry, one second. As far as the results between the organic and the paid, or sorry, the videos and the still images, what have you noticed with that? The, uh, is he referring to like the flyer in the video? Right, like how, how those work compared to each other, the video versus the flyer, which was a really cheap flyer that I made that surprised me <laughs> how well it was going. <laughs> so in, uh, in Myson's yeah. case, after, uh, after working with Myson for a pretty long time, we realized that flyers actually help him out a lot when it comes to converting people. Um, I'm not sure why exactly that, that works out so well because common sense, at least as far as the marketing space, they usually tell you to stress video, video, video. Um, but I always have to throw in a flyer in, in, in these campaigns because I know somehow, some way it's going to work out pretty well. So this, the flyer actually got, I think about five leads and then the video got two. Um, so that's the importance of testing it. Uh, flyers definitely can help out a lot, uh, depending on your audience. Um, and I think just off the, uh, off the top of my head, I would like to say probably flyers work with an older audience that aren't really, you know, looking for videos. Cause usually your younger audience love videos they are on Instagram. They're looking for videos and pictures every single day. Um, but I think the flyers is definitely something that's been a, a strong point for uh, hoops university and my in particular. And so total, let me combine, how much have we spent on this messenger strategy? What, 60 something dollars? Yeah, so Maybe we spent, less. <clears throat> so <clears throat> Myson ran a uh, a messenger ad as well that got uh, about 15 conversations from that. And then I got the, uh, the seven conversations. So we got 22 uh, leads off of about, let me take a look. So yeah, just about 60 bucks. And got how many conversations? 22. 22. And I don't know what that average is with that. With that. But I, I think, <laughs> look, it, it, it really, if it's one of those 22 convert, then it's worth, depending on what the service cost and what the, the cost for the rent is and any other, any other cost of service, it's, you basically <laughs> may pay for the ad with just one person who signs up, uh, which is the goal which is the goal. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's good. I think that's good. I think we covered a lot there. And anybody else, obviously, if they want to ask any questions, can they, where can they hit you up? Where can they contact you? Yeah, so you can literally, I'll probably comment uh, on the stream. You can literally hit me up on uh, Facebook, Jordan Jameer Williams, or you can simply shoot me an email at jordanwgarnet at gmail.com. Um, <clears throat> I know this is like 30 minutes, so, we didn't get a chance to really go deep dive into everything else. Um, Facebook ads is super intensive, uh, but if you have any questions for me, please feel free to just shoot me out a message. i uh, love to answer whatever I can. Got it, Jay. Hey, man, thank you so much. And hopefully we can keep doing this more often back in the group and uh, make, it, make it worthwhile for the trainers to listen to. Oh, yeah. Appreciate the opportunity. For sure, man. I'll catch you later. All right, big guy. Coach.